Hi friends, it's me. It's a me, Mario. No, it's me, Leslie. And um, today I'm gonna work on my little journal here, little chub, chubby journal here. And um, I want to make a page or a cover topper. I think that's what they call them. There's been a lot of people making them lately, and of course I can't remember the name. Cover Topper? I think so. Alright, so I have, I picked up this fabric. And then I picked up this fabric to maybe go on top of it. On top of the topper. Possibly. Um, now, if you watched my other video well one of my other videos on this um, I was looking for my cigar box to see if I had all my um, um, holy cow my words aren't coming tonight uh, fabric clusters and stuff I had made a bunch of them and I thought I kept them in the cigar box I did find my cigar box and as it turns out, it is not full of fabric clusters. It is full of dried flowers and stuff from last fall. So I forgot about those. So we'll have to work in those somewhere. But my fabric clusters, I did end up finding. And it was in this box that I had made from uh, my son, Sean. It was, it's supposed to be like a treasure box from The Legend of Zelda. And, uh, okay, these are all my current ones. But, yeah, I, uh, I'm excited because um, I've got uh, clusters, fabric clusters and paper clusters and... Um, some dangles some uh, altered paper clips all sorts of stuff and actually I want to take so there should be another here's another altered paper clip um, and then here's another dangle Isn't that cute? Oh, I'm not even in frame. Bird. Nest. Paper clip. Okay. Alright, so these are all snippets and clusters. And then I've got paper clips here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them to my paper clip. I'm just going to keep them on this piece of paper. It keeps them from getting all mixed up in the other stuff, you know. Okay. So, I think I'm going to use this on here. Or should I use one of the well, that's kind of nice too isn't it hmm. no. sorry this is the This was his box that he kept his important information in, and after he died, I took it to keep treasures in. Oh, that's a paper clip. I didn't even realize that was a paper. Is this one a paper clip, too? Oh, yeah. Wow. Huh. Okay. Well, so we've got, I've got a bunch of clusters now. 
and uh, I think I like that. So let's get our paper clips too. Get them in there. Okay. So yeah, I found my box found stuff so apparently this is from triple v vintage i love that shop size or maybe this is two pages yeah I really want to rip that up That's two pages too. This has, I just got a, a new fundle from Pam at the Paper Outpost. And then I got new paper from Rachel at Roxy Creations. So I've got a whole bunch of new stuff to play with. And then a lot of old stuff that's still here because I've been hoarding it, even though they keep telling me not to. It's hard. It's hard when you have these old things and it's like, oh, I don't, I don't want to use it yet. I'm looking for something. Is that one page or is it two? I don't like to. If I have a page that's together, I like to keep it like that because it, you know, I can use it in a, um, the middle of a signature. You could check that out. I don't want to use any. I don't want to use dictionary paper, but what is this? Oh, this is about coins. Mm. Whenever a uh, Aslan makes a door in the air. Oh, that must be uh, it's Chronicles of Narnia Prince Caspian. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. That's one of my favorites. And there's Reaper Cheap, the mouse. I didn't even realize I had that. Okay, this is some of my old papers that from a book that it turns out that I don't use it. I don't use it that shows the um oh that's the one I had before any writing because it's a book about escaped slaves and as such it's written in the vernacular of that time and I will not I'm not go, gonna put that out there nope no nope, nope. Okay, well, I found this. I kind of wanted like a piece of 
maybe Italian paper or something, so that's why I'm still looking. These, uh, a lot of these also come from when I was with getting the um, subscription to, I can't remember the name of it now. But I was getting book pages every month and stuff and ephemera. Okay, these are uh... Oh look at that paper. That's cool. These are prescription. Or oh, maybe that. We've got some German music. Easter card. That looks like uh, Edith Holden. Oh, I'll have to save this for uh, my next Celestial Journal. The Waste Pile at Apple Bow. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just looking for piece of vintage ephemera that I want to put on my cover. Okay, that's definitely uh, fungal stuff. It's funny, I, sometimes when I get recipe cards and stuff, the handwriting looks so much like my grandmother's. It's like, that could have been grandma's. It's like each uh, generation has its own kind of handwriting almost. Dilly da I'm dilly dallying here. I picked out a few papers. We'll pick something from that. Arr! And there's the beautiful papers from Rachel. I've already gone through them. They're just amazing. And the bundle's amazing. can't afford to get either very often, but I try to treat myself for like Mother's Day or birthday or Christmas. Mother's Day and birthday and Christmas. Alright, let's see. There's more. Oh, I just love this paper. I think I'm going to save that for something. Let's look at this because it's kind of got the colors of the cover in it. Cut through the middle of the Eastern Kingbird. And I'll do it with the pinking shears since the fabric's pinkered. Pinkered? Pinked? Pinked? Pinkered. just want it peeking out. Yeah, let's take some of that top off. Let's save the 140 though. I think that should make it a pocket. Wouldn't that be cute? And then 
if it's a pocket and the dangle could be dangling. Okay, I like that idea. All right. Um, so maybe I think I will shorten this a bit. I have so much, um, upholstery samples and stuff. I have a friend who is an interior designer and uh, when she has stuff that she doesn't need anymore she asks me if I want it. I'm like, yes! But, I mean, I haven't gotten any from her in a while because I was using them to make purses because I had a little side business making purses for a while. And, uh, So she would just say, hey, if you, if you want some, just let me know. I got some. So I think uh, I'm going to go through my collection, see how much I have, and maybe give her a call if I could use some more. I don't really have space for it right now. I keep all my fabrics. Well, the bulk of my fabrics are in, out in the Winnebago out in the yard. It used to be my craft, craft crafty cabin. But then my daughter came to stay here and she was living in the Winnebago and she died in the Winnebago and I haven't been able to go in there much since so I just go out there to grab stuff and don't linger too much. I feel like I need something else. I feel like I'm, oh, lace. Let me see. Sorry, I shut the camera. I'm sorry. Um, it's so long. Oh, I'm sorry. Try to keep that camera still. It's telling me I've overstuffed it too much. <laughs> I have like containers full of stuff that are put away because they're big and I don't have a lot of space. So I try to put as much out into like this container and then I've got another one that I had just pulled down up there so I try to stuff it full <laughs> maybe one on there oh you know what that has the colors that looks really good hmm let's look at that one oh wow that's like a perfect match Hmm. I'm not sure how to use it. I just know I want to. Okay, so if we're going to make this a pocket, I could put lace here. Here's some small 
probably like seam binding. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's cute, actually. Kind of blends in though. All right, possible, possibility, possibility. We won't rule it out. I'm going to lower it a little bit so we see the pinked edge, pinkered, pinkered, pinked edge. I should sew that on. Got my sewing machine right here. Ready to go. I am not going to move the camera because then I have trouble getting it to focus properly when I put it back. So I'll just try to stitch this quickly. A nice green yarn in there, I think, or yarn thread. All right, let's get this on straight stitch. Hopefully, it won't do like cutting paper stitches. I think I'm gonna take it in next month and uh, tell them, you know, it. I think the timing's off. It sounds, hear that kind of ticking. It not doesn't normally do that. Oh wait, let me back that up a bit. Yeah, that green goes perfectly with it. And my lace just fell in the garbage can. Let's move it over there. All right. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe I'll do a zigzag. Well, let's see. Can I have that like that? Why don't I... Got my Fabri-Tac all nicely. Oh, you know what? I don't want to have too much glue on this because I'm sewing. I'm just going to sew around the edges, so that should be all right. <clears throat> all right, let's do a zigzag. I, okay, I'll try, we'll, we'll try to do the phone thing. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I tried to move the phone and the arm that's holding it fell and I had to get that book back on and I'm just not going to go there anymore. So, well, I was, after I dealt with that, I just did the sewing. So, got that done. Okie dokie. So, I got that. Got that. Um, oh. That's right, I was going to sew that on there, so... Should I do a zigzag or a straight stitch? I've got zigzag. Hmm, let's do a zigzag. Okay, 
I will be right back. Somebody's burning something outside, so it smells weird. off of here. Sometimes I'll leave them on. I mean, there's certainly plenty in the journal itself. Oh, why does that... Oh, no. It's all crooked. Yeah. Well, what can you do? Glue this down. I'm kind of concerned that it might not stick well to the cover since it's all Mod Podged. I'm hoping I'm wrong, obviously. I don't know. It just occurred to me that maybe it won't stick. I don't know why. I mean, Mod Podge is just glue itself, so. We'll make sure we have plenty of glue on here. Okay. Guess we'll do it in the center. Why not? Oh, yeah, it's sticking just fine. Worried for nothing. Get my paper towel. I'm gonna make sure that's straight because you know me. Should I? I mean, it goes perfectly. Why not? Yeah. And actually, I think I'm going to make that a little tuck itself. with fabric trims. put a big blob of glue here because it was unraveling a little bit and I wanted it to hold. Oh, no, no, don't hold to me. Okay, this is driving me crazy. Gosh darn it. That's 
better. Better. Not great, but it's better. Oh, that's so cute. Alright, I need to cover the back of this because this is a thank you from Triple Leaf Vintage, which I will take off. And put where I put all my cards and stuff. So, I guess that's good like that. Oh, that's so pretty. I like that a lot. I mean, it's plain, unassuming, but just pretty. Okay. So. <laughs> there we got our big fatty. Maybe I should like put this underneath something really heavy for a day or so. Maybe I should just not worry about closing it tight and let it just naturally open. I'm trying to think. I mean, I was considering putting this in here and this like this. The only problem was is that I already had this on here, so it would be hard to make like a, a cover topper. But, you know could just tie it loosely and let it be the alligator that it wants to be. Alright. We've got this and this here. Open up. Put that our card that we made for this pocket. And then here we've got our um, document holder pocket thingy that I made from Rachel's journal or Rachel's weekly challenge and it's got a bunch of authentic ephemera in it and other stuff or vintage ephemera that's the right term okay so we've got that in here and this is held on by one of my hidden paper clips. I'm going to do a journal flip through video too once I know this is completely finished. Alright. We've got our pull down journal spot. And then we just got random ephemera up here. Vintage music paper. We've got one of my cards. That was a Roxy's Weekly Challenge. We've got one of my paper clips. I can't, I think. Who, who did I get this from? Um. Gosh, I don't remember. I think it was Scrapbooking With Me. E from Scrapbooking With Me, maybe? Or not. I, oh, I'm, I'm terrible. i got to write that down. So, Edith Holden. And then we've got a double pocket here. With all sorts of goodies in it. Okay, this, that needs to be... So I do have stuff that needs to be decorated yet, or I could just leave it and let whoever gets this decorate it. Maybe I ought to do that. Is this a double pocket? No, it's just a stuffed pocket. This is, it is a double pocket, but it's double on the other side. So 
Okay. This is my envelope pocket. I believe that was a Taddy Treasures project. Double pocket here. And then we've got this was a Rachel's Weekly Challenge, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Tall envelope with a journal card in it. And this, I don't remember. That might be a uh, um, Cory Cory project. Cory Don. Okay, here we've got our ladder. And I believe, yeah, it's also a um, belly band. I made these last night. This is a new Cory project from her video last night. Double envelope. It might be too big for this. Oh no, it's perfect. And you know, I'm just going to leave it as it is because it's so pretty. And um, whoever gets this can decorate it. Okay. Then we've got this. This is a Cory Dahlman project. Two journal spots there and closes. And then it's a belly band. And this, I don't remember what project. This might be Angela Kerr. But, um, shove some. ephemera in there so whoever gets this knows that that's a little pocket okay there we go and we've got this cluster and this tag with a little pull down journal spot Did wrong, but that's okay. And then put that in front of it, hold it down. Okay. And we've got a bag pocket with this little, this is a Cory Dahlman, Dahlman project. Double pocket, ephemera on the back, and then ephemera inside. Okay. And this was a um, Gale project. And then I just took a employee card, put a cluster on it, and sewed it on. That's a nice little journaling spot. Okay, we've got a pocket here. This is a pocket. Oh no, this is one of the pockets I just found. Have some plain ephemera in here that can be altered. Okay, and that's the end of that one. So let's go to the other one. Actually, I'll open this up so it can be flat. Okay. Yeah, see, it can be flat no matter which journal you're working in you can flatten this out so it's not like all bleh. all right so we have the card that needed a home and got one and then we've got this one that i did with you guys well it's part of a master book i decorated it excuse me this was a rachel project and this is another one of the tall envelopes from Rachel's Weekly Challenge. And another one of those um, paper clips with the pocket and dangles. Okay, another ladder. And 
And then I just have an envelope full of stuff. And then the envelope that I put in the other one, I'll fill that up with ephemera. Get some vintage ledger. This is just a hidden journaling spot. Another pocket from my um, master board. We've got this bag. I didn't decorate the other bags, I don't think. And then uh, just filled with ephemera. Bits and bobs. And then we've got this, which I believe is an Angela Kerr project from. I did this a while back. So you got a tuck here, pocket here, pocket here, with the pretty little tag. Oh, and journaling spot. And we've got a belly band here. With some nice ephemera. And we've got a tuck here. Cluster. And then a pocket here. just wraps around your page and this is just a plain hidden paper clip I didn't decorate this one okay this has just one of my one of my very first pockets I made and I believe um, it was a Roxy's weekly challenge some ephemera Excuse me. And we've got a squirrel tag, some ephemera, and just another one of these pockets, these double pockets of mine. Let's see, it's a double pocket on each side too. So I just stuffed it with ephemera. Another bag. Okay, I did decorate. So it was the other journal that I did not decorate these bags. Another journaling card. It's a tight fit, so there we go. Then I have a cluster here with just a piece of <coughs> ephemera and one of my hidden paper clips with her on the back. Isn't she so cute? Just tuck that in there. And then we've got my origami box. Open it up and it's full of ephemera. Yay! I'm going to make more of those. That was fun. We've got a little notepad here. I didn't do much on that either. I don't feel like I have to decorate everything. You know, I'm going to leave some for the journal buyer to do. I think there's plenty decorated to give the start, you know. All right. I, you know, I was considering going through and doing some stenciling and, and stamping, which I may still do, but um, I may not do. It just depends on how energetic I am. But I think otherwise I'm calling this done. I think that... uh just got to find something to tie it shut. All right. Let me think. I mean, obviously, it's got to fit in there. I've got the sorry silk. Let's see. Or should I wrap it? Oh. getting my sorry silk. Okay, I 
have to play a game of where is it? <laughs> How much do we have here? Uh, I'm gonna make sure there's plenty. Okay, let's see if that's good. So what we can do is no, what I'll do is I'll put it in this way. It's already full. Okay, let's try this idea. Let's get it even. What it? <laughs> that didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. Okay. Have this one going this way and this one going this way. Okay. So bring this around. Don't smash our pocket. No, wait a minute. Okay. Around. And then have this one go around, around. No, yeah. My bright idea wasn't so bright. So instead, we'll just Oh, it kind of looks a hot mess, doesn't it? Well, it kind of follows the look of the journal, I think. And I didn't tie it tight. I mean, you could probably tighten it a little bit. There we go. Ta-da! My double journal is done. So tell me what you think about it. Leave me um, comments and, you know, tell me what you think. Tell me if, if you think there are ways to improve or you just think it's perfect as it is. And, uh, I, I'd just love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And um, I will just do like a, a plain video flip through. And then list it in my Etsy shop. There's lots of fuzzies on this. Sorry. But it is silk. So. Okay guys. Thank you so much for coming with me on this journal journey well you were here more for the decorating of the journal journey i mean the journal itself i made with gail um it's a very 
simple pattern. It's just what you do with it that makes it special. Okay, guys. Oh, you know what? I was going to end. No. no. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.